as i said you know how target how ransomware go and use a old vulnerability to target right now is because they are scanning the whole internet and they are constantly looking for you know where global attack surface presence of a vulnerability right uh, probably initially they didn't prioritize it but then as the one as you know they are like around 50000 nvd vulnerabilities are there but their attack surface may not be large may not be a significant value a significant size right so there there are various factors that that comes into picture when uh, you know the ransomware uh, should use these factors to target to to you know prioritize a vulnerability and one of them probably is having a present global attack surface present which means it should have a significant presence on a global scale second probably is easy to exploit uh, the vulnerability should be easy to exploit should bypass you know various security controls like sending a http request probably is one of the way to bypass a lot of security controls uh, because http is being used you know very generically on the round uh, so as i said this the zk framework which is a java framework and this is this vulnerability works very similar to log4j in fact right uh, so in this vulnerability the user can send again another uh, you know packet another http request to to the server respect server and then it actually go and disclose a one disclose uh, information related to sensitive files on the on the local instance which may include even credentials and as a result logbit could actually use those credentials to gain access to the system and uh, and this uh, uh, as you can see that it has it has you know the in united states itself uh, with conservative you know queries written restricted queries written there are around 1000 instances currently being exposed just in united states right now we connect now with the advent of remote working when the workforce is all around the globe uh, the incidents of using stolen credentials uh, and get access to your to the you know network and to some of the systems has increased drastically uh, this is because you know uh, the, the collaboration is now right now not limited to within the perimeter of the network uh, so as a result you know using the stolen credentials now where are the stolen credentials coming from uh, these are coming from you know various uh, attack and breach databases which were you know published for the last uh, maybe you know 5 to 10 years uh, where billions and billions of you know uh, credentials are available on dark web and uh, many of them are being reused by employees you know intentionally non intentionally uh, on other you know systems which probably works in the enterprise and not only that uh, some of the cases of shadow it a lot of cases in shadow it also comes from you know code leaks like the developers when they go, when they write open source you know tools they uh, leave credentials and api keys in the code and make it you know and publish it on the developer or they can also you know leave these credentials in the build in the software build uh such as jenkins or maybe circle ci or maybe other you know any other uh, uh, you know ci cd platform right so in one of the incidents which has happened last one month back where you know the after uh doing phishing you know once the attacker got access to one of the systems uh one of the devops systems and then they got access to their uh the, their ci cd system what they have found out is they decompiled the build and then in the build itself there were a package of credentials being you know packaged together with the build and as a result they got access to a lot of other uh, systems all around 